Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're gonna to be talking about this trailer right here. If you clicked on this link, you know we're talking about this. This is our new 24-foot trailer that we ordered. We ordered it with the blackout package, as you guys can see here. We ordered the window right there. Um, we'll kind of put a link up right here and show you guys what it looked like beforehand inside. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump inside, kind of show you what it looks like. But if you guys look back here, we got our logos, got the straps, we got the LED lights there. Yep, down here we put a hole in it already. That was my fault. But without further ado, we're gonna jump inside, kind of show you what we did and what it was like before and kind of the things that we added to it. So, as you guys watch, you guys see right here real quick, we'll show you guys again, this is what it looked like. And this is the difference. So some of the things that we had down here, as you guys can see on the floor, it might be a little dirty because we just got done off-roading and playing in the dirt. But we added the two-part epoxy floor with the little sprinkles in there. We put down the little sand on it too to give it a little bit of grip so it's not slippery. Also on top of that, we put on these E-tracks and we screwed each one of these into the frames underneath so they do not come out. When you walk in the door here, you'll see our little, right here, our hanger for our cleaners. We got our brake cleaner, blaster, silicone, stuff like that. And a place to hang up our ratchet straps that are in the back. Also, we got some hooks here. That's the dirty clothes from this weekend. Probably should get them washed. So next over, we jump over this side. So we put the same rack along top here. And we'll show you guys more of that. We got something really special coming to that for our big trip coming to Drummond, but we'll show you that one when we get to that one, guys. So we got our spare tire up here, mounted that up here so it'd be against the side of the wall. We got our chairs. I cut the small piece off down here and I used it and I mounted on another one. So I keep my spare tire right there against the wall. See that? I like that because it's there up against the wall out of the way and it's not gonna move. And then we did along the walls. We just put our helmets, our goggles, Stuff like that that we needed. Let's jump to the other side. This track, we're still looking on adding a few things, but we don't want too much on this side because this is the side we walk in and out of. We try not to hit our heads. So, it's getting a little dark in here. Let's turn the lights on. So we'll come in here and hit our lights. As you guys can see, we ran these LED lights across the whole thing before we have more lighting in here. Don't worry about that wire. That's for an AC unit coming later down the road. It's already there. Um, mount our parts up here so we had our extra extension cores if we need them. Our flags are mounted up here by fishing pole holders. Yep, well, there's our window. Um, so we got them hanging up here out of the way. If we go to Drummond, we're actually going to put fishing poles on there too and go fishing. That's more stuff we'll show you later. We took all on the side over here and we took the extra brackets we cut off right there and we put it for we can mount our chairs and our cots. We'll jump back to the other side over here. See, we got another one of these hanging back here. These are all our other ones, our up front and our extra straps. We got them all hanging here. These are all rhinos because we like to go with those. Bug cleaner, window cleaner because you need window cleaner to clean your mask when you get all dirty. Starting fluid. Up top here, we built these shelves. These are our two by fours with a piece of plywood on top. We use the same kind of coating on the, this that we use on the floor, but we use one part. The reason I did that is because we like it tougher. So up here, we just keep our paper towels, some hammocks if we need them. This right here is stored with all our gloves and our extra warm gear just in case we need them. Up here is our sleeping bags if we need them. Behind those are our cots, our second sets. We got two more cots back there if we need them for friends or anybody else. Over here, this is for all our cooking utensils. Yep, all the cooking for our grill. And over here is an extra sleeping bag that we brought with us and pit towels and other things. Now we're jumping back over here. Now, on the second part here, guys, we just got a couple of these. These are the rechargeable solar door cell lights. I got them. I like just hang them outside, set them out there. They're nice to have when you guys are out doing things. Um, you guys can see they are ooh, bright as can be. They dim down. These are really nice to have because you can set them on the picnic table recharge while you guys are out partying or hanging out. Um, fan, this one is a 110. We probably should get another one, but... We got our charger in here. All this stuff up here is all wired in down below. We'll show you that in a minute. This is just our speaker we got in here mounted against the wall so we can jam out. Char battery charger, just our radio stuff for radios and all our um, 
our radios and all our recording equipment in here and other stuff. For if we're running the rugged radios, we actually have the headsets here just in case we need them. One of the things I'd like to show up here is that we went with the E-Track. So I see my sunglasses I got back here, but we got the E-Track going up and down on this dial. The reason we do that is because we put these in. These shelves have the E-Track underneath, or the ones that hang down. We got this idea from our friend Alex. We thank you for that. And then we just hang up stuff here. And then we have these ratchet straps across here just to hold things in. The reason I got them, these are some cheap Amazon ratchet straps. I just put them in here to hold things in so they do not bounce around and I don't have to have anything permanent. Now we're going to jump down below. A Harbor Freight toolbox that's just sitting on the floor so we can actually have it mounted on the floor underneath here so it does not move. Also, we got a little predator generator next door. Rustic areas, we put that out, get power in here if we need to, charge batteries, keep things going. If we got to charge our phones up. Down here, we got some stuff just hiding in the corner. This side over here, you can see I got a monster power strip that goes up and down right next to our e track And then over here is just some random stuff that we got sitting down for now. This right here is going to be a little cool idea. We'll show that one later. Um, also, I went and got a little household one underneath. So I can put my paper towels under here. I got some in the back, but in here. So if you're up here working, you just pull them down and use them. If I'm out back, I just grab that one out back. It's kind of like a just quick and easy because if you're out working, trying to get things done quick, you don't want to run around. The last bit we're going to talk about is what the things that we added before we added all this other. The stuff that we want to custom on here is we wanted the wide door. So this is the extra wide door. We wanted the RV latch in there so we just open it up and close the door without having to use the lock on it every single time. We ran our AC unit up here so it's already pre-wired. Also, we wanted, like we said, the window. We wanted the extra height. I'm 5'7", and if you can look, I can reach up and I cannot even touch the ceiling. Yes, we wanted the extra height, so I eventually like to get a couple of taller rigs and do some other stuff, but you gotta have the room for that. And for now, I have my gas cans just set up against the wall. Sometimes I put them right here in front of the door. It depends on what I got going on, but it just makes it easier for me. Um, I don't want anything permanent yet. I'm kind of figuring out where I want them. And that's the thing with this trailer is that you kind of want to set things up the way you want them and you want to you want to mold them when you go you don't want to just throw everything in and go you want to be able to get everything give it a place give it organized so when you're racing or you're out doing things you come in and take care of it right away also if you notice that we do have a lot of weight in the front we are going to be doing a video this weekend and we're going to be doing a video about airbag systems that we're putting on the truck and we'll show you that one down the road besides that guys that's it as you guys can see, we haven't even washed our helmets off from the race this weekend. If you don't organize it the way you want and get it organized, you're going to have stuff clustered all around and you're going to be frustrated. And yeah, that's the light right here for right there. Woo! That's the light. That's the light right there, guys, for the ones in the back. But we end up painting the walls white too. We use exterior paint. We did a lot of work in here in a short amount of time. And yep, up there and look at the ceiling. We got to put a new roof on. That was hail damage two hours after getting it. Yes, that was horrible, but hey, it happens. Also, guys, I'd like to show you, we got some of these bigger hooks here. If you guys can see, we got those kind of hooks. We hook the chairs. We actually have them underneath our helmets. So they sit up here. The smaller ones we use for clothes and other things like that. They do have the container up here, right here, that you can put up here, but we just got kind of some extra ratchet straps and other things in there um and we did put everything up this high so we could walk underneath it and we'll show you guys why we did that in the future video but if you guys watch i could literally stand to my back to it and still have room to walk underneath so if we put anything up on top or do anything we still have the room yes these are our custom flags that we got but besides that guys if you guys like the video or if you got something that's really cool that you guys put in your ride that we don't have or you know what i mean or something you think we should put in here to make it more organized and better for us let us know down below also if you guys haven't liked subscribe do that stuff it might help us it might not but we'll see you guys in the next video appreciate you guys stopping in here and you guys have a wonderful day out there riding